Okay, this is a job SC0112, and this is press number 1429. It's a 125-ton Wabash. I'm going to go ahead and uh, demonstrate it uh, functioning. First, I'm going to do a manual close. It'll close in manual, go to low pressure. Uh, it'll hold until you press the open button, and it'll open back up. Then I'm going to flip it over to uh, high, and we'll close it in high pressure. And uh, it'll start off, it'll go to low, it'll low time, real time out, and then it'll go to high pressure, and that'll time out, and the press will open. Um, low and high can be selected at any time, so you don't have to have low, you can just go to high, or you can have just low. Those are switches on the front. You also have water cooling and air purge, which can also be selected to turn on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run it now. As soon as the press closes all the way, you get a clamp sealed light, that's the yellow light, and then you can release the palm buttons. The press is currently in low. Uh, it'll stay at this point, and you can adjust the low pressure, but it'll stay here until you hit the open button. And then, uh, and then we're going to do an auto cycle. Okay, uh, presses in auto. That was low pressure. Low pressure timed out. Now it's going into high pressure. Once that timer times out, it'll decompress and open back to the open position where it'll shut off. Timer's timed out now. Press opens to the open position. And shuts off. That uh, that completes uh, press 1429, 125 ton Wabash on job SC0112.